What is the hockey switching function? Hockey switching is a function that allows users to quickly switch between different applications or perform specific actions using a keyboard shortcut. To operate a hockey, the user needs to press a combination of keys on the keyboard, typically including the Control, Alt, or Shift keys, along with a letter or number key that corresponds to the desired action. Hey guys, this video is going to go over the hockey command for Tatsmar Dual Monitor KVMs. We have an infographic on the hockeys on tatsmar.com, and everything is linked to the description below. For these KVMs, you can use either the scroll lock button or the right control key as the hockey trigger. Sometimes the factory forget to default to the scroll lock key, so if that's not working for you, try the right control key instead. Many keyboards don't actually have a dedicated scroll lock button like the one we have here, but a lot of them will have it as a special function. Here's a location of the scroll lock function on a few popular keyboards that we come across. If this applies to you, simply need to hold down the FN key and press the correct key to activate the scroll lock. If you don't have the scroll lock function at all, like for Mac keyboards, then you can press and hold the yellow switch button in the front of the KVM for about 15 seconds until the KVM beeps. This will talk between scroll lock and right control as the hockey trigger. Alright, let's get into switching inputs. So, at the moment, we are actually on PC2. If you want to go back and forth between PC1 and 2 while in dual screen extended desktop mode, you just do scroll scroll 1 or 2. We select 1. It's going to go to PC1. We select a 2. It's going to go to PC2. Now, if we want to switch over to Motor 2, which is where you have one computer on each monitor simultaneously, you'll press scroll scroll 3 or 4. So, we're gonna press 3 here. And we're gonna have PC1 on the left and PC2 on the right. Now, if we want PC2 on the left instead of this way, all we're going to do is scroll scroll 4. Give the KVM a second to resolve the resolutions. And here, now, we can actually control one computer at a time. And then press alt alt and we can switch over and use the other computer. And you can go back and forth between these computers when you are in mode 2 just with alt alt. One thing to know though is that if the KVM is going to receive audio from whichever input it's selected, so, whichever computer has the mouse and keyboard control. You are also going to receive audio from that computer as well. When you are in mode 2, as we mentioned earlier, the hockey trigger can be assigned to either scroll lock or right control. And we can do this with a hockey scroll scroll F1. Now, we use the right control key to switch around with the KVM. Personally, I prefer having the scroll lock key as my trigger. So, to switch back over to scroll lock, we are just going to repeat the pattern and do control control F1. You can turn pass through mode on or off with scroll scroll F2. So, let's go ahead and turn it off. But there is no light in the in front of the KVM to indicate if it's on or off. So, you have to use another hockey trigger, which is scroll scroll F3. So, we're gonna do that pattern. And you heard one bit. One means that it's off, and two means it's on. So let's go ahead and turn it back on with scroll scroll F2. And now we can confirm it with scroll scroll F3. There you can hear two bips. So we know the path through mode is turned back on. If by chance you accidentally turn past your motor off, and your keyboard stop working because of that. You will need to grab a basic keyboard and repeat the scroll scroll F2 pattern to turn it back on. So, we generally just suggest leave the pass mode on all the time. It will make your life better. To disable the KVM speed, press scroll scroll F1. This engages silent mode. And now, as we switch around, we are not going to hear any more of the KVM's really annoying bip. But if you do like the bip and you prefer the response, all you have to do is repeat the pattern and press scroll scroll F11 and it will turn it back on. Here is the example for MX keyboard 3-step operation. 
At the very beginning, please press Fn and P to switch the Windows mode. Key 1 indicator lights up for a successful switch. Then, you can press Ctrl, Ctrl 1 or 2 to switch. Then, press Right Ctrl, Right Ctrl, Fn, F1 to switch the hard key to scroll lock. Press FM, scroll, scroll, 1 or 2 to switch. Hockey Knowledge Expansion First, how to switch the keyboard to Windows mode or Mac mode. Fn and P hold 3 seconds and switch the keyboard to PC mode. Fm and O hold 3 seconds can switch the keyboard to Mac mode. Second, what if there is no scroll lock button on the keyboard? You can change from scroll lock to right control. First, please grab a standard keyboard and trigger the command scroll lock, scroll lock F1. The unit may make a continuous beep and you will have to power cycle it or hold the yellow switch button in the front for 10 to 15 seconds. Third, what if only one mouse and keyboard port are available? You could try a couple things. First, unplug the KVN from power to reset it. Second, try swapping the docks in the top to button and vice versa. Third, Use the keyboard in the KVM's USB 2 port to make sure that the mouse is working correctly. Fourth, in which KVM USB port is the unified dock connected? You can plug it into either the mouse or keyboard port. We typically put it in the top port because there will be a little less RF interference at the top compared to the button. Fifth, does the KVM switch support wireless keyboards? It will only work with the KVM if you use the keyboard with the RF receiver and plug the receiver into the KVM. Six, if the right R key hard key confects, please contact Tesma customer service for troubleshooting assistance.